Do you know what talent is? I could bet you have the wrong perception of what talent is. You probably call talent as the ability someone has to perform a specific activity. A talented athlete is that seven years old kid who can dribble all the other kids. However, it does not mean he's going to be the one who is going to have the best ability. Most of the people think the ability you have is something you are either born with or you won't have it. Then, if you do not have talent, you need to work hard. Well, that is not how it works. At the dictionary, talent is the natural attitude or skill. However, it is not good enough to become great at something. We often see the final product, the athlete, doctor, artist, or dancer ready to perform. He seems to be perfect, his movements flow naturally. It seems he's floating and he can use his skills without effort. Although he does use his skills without much effort, it was not always like that. We often forget to measure his effort, hard work, hours at the gym, persistence and commitment for years and years. You have two ways of seeing the life of an athlete. Using both has won 9 gold medals in his 3 Olympic Games and he has run less than 2 minutes on the track. He ran for less than 115 seconds in total in his 3 Olympic Games and made $119 million. However, for those 115 seconds, he trained for more than 20 years. We have the wrong perception of hard work. We see it as if you need to work hard is because you are not good enough. But that's not how it works. Talent is different than ability. If you are born with or without talent, you can develop your ability to perform any activity. Look at the definition of talent, ability and effort. Talent, natural attitude or skill. Ability, possession of the means or skills to do something. Effort, the work needed to develop any ability. Michael Jordan, probably the best basketball player ever, was not as talented as you may imagine. He was kicked out of the varsity basketball team on his high school. He was not called by the two first NBA teams that could have chosen him. When he was cut out of his high school basketball team, his mother's reaction was to tell him to go back there and to become more disciplined. Then he started to leave home at 6 a.m. to practice before classes. That is not talent, that is effort. He was not born with it, he committed to it. On college, he surprised his coach by his disposition and commitment during practice. When his team lost their last game in the season, Jordan went to practice free throws during hours. He was starting to get prepared for the next year. John Beck, his assistant coach at Chicago Bulls, defined him as a genius that always wants to improve his geniality. And that is not related to being talented. Many athletes have the characteristics and opportunities that favors them. They are born taller, quicker and stronger. But not always. And it does not determine if you are either going to become successful or not. Wilma Rudolph a woman who won three gold medals in the 1960 Olympics was born premature. She was the 20th children out of 22 brothers, and her left leg got paralyzed. And only after an extreme commitment during her physiotherapy, she could walk normally again, age 12. When she decided to start running, she faced other challenges. She lost every single race she competed on her first championship. However, it was worth it. She then got three golden medals. She once said, I just want to be remembered as a woman who worked hard. Now, you understand what talent, ability and hard work means. Talent is a factor that differentiates one athlete from the other. It will make people to start at different stages in their path. But the journey is so long that it does not really matter where you start as long as you make more progress than the others.